The libertarian premise of non-aggression does not take into account externalities and the effect that these externalities have on our freedom. Libertarians love this quote, I have the right to swing my fist, but the right to swing my fist ends where the other guy's nose begins. On paper, that makes a lot of sense. I have the right to do whatever I want as long as I don't hurt someone else in the process. But let's follow that premise to its logical conclusion, conclusion and use the example of power plants. We need power, of course, to live freely as we understand it in this day and age. I'm sitting here using power right now. But most of the power we generate comes from power plants that cause pollution. I know that half the power in the U.S. comes from coal and a lot more comes from oil and gas, some of it from nuclear. So, most of this causes pollution. Well, when these power plants cause pollution, it goes in the air and we have to breathe it. So, unless you're a mouth breather, well, your nose is getting hit. So, these power plants are swinging their fist and hitting you in the nose. The only logical conclusion, if you believe completely and totally in the non-aggression principle, and you believe completely and totally in pure negative liberties, well, the only logical conclusion would be to shut these power plants down because they're causing pollution and they're hitting us in the nose without our consent. What if we were to do that, though? If we were to shut down every pollutinous power plant, well, I don't think I would be able to make this video unless you really, truly believe we can run this whole country on solar and wind and hydro. I certainly hope we're able to do that one day, but right now, I don't think that's possible. So my whole point is that Libertarian logic is incomplete in defining freedom, and freedom cannot be maximized by negative liberty alone. Now, you can probably stop watching at this point. However, if you're about to accuse me of building a straw man, keep watching. I'm going to go ahead and address that. If you think I have built a straw man by pointing out the closing down of power plants, let me make this very clear. I never said that libertarians want to close down power plants everywhere. My point is that libertarians don't actually have an answer to that. Or if they do develop an answer, they do so readily admitting that their non-aggression principle is imperfect. So, in order to maximize liberty, we do sadly have to accept that sometimes we have to trade one liberty for another. In order to have the liberty to use all this power, we have to accept that our air is not going to be perfectly clean. There's going to be some pollution. So, the more practical solution to maximizing liberty is to regulate pollution and try to get it down to an acceptable amount so that the air isn't so filthy that we're getting lung cancer left and right. I hope this all makes sense. I'm going to continue to analyze different aspects of libertarianism because, um, well, it's kind of fun to tell you the truth. And as far as abstract and practical philosophies go, libertarianism is one of my favorite because, honestly, it's so attractive on paper.